Hello and welcome back to Civ 5, where we are playing as the mighty German Empire that happens right now to be at war. It's been quite a war-y last couple of episodes, to be honest. Right now, we're against the pesky Huns. We we expected it was going to happen. Luckily, we prepared and we have repelled the pesky invaders rather successfully, to be honest. We haven't lost any units, although we've come quite close with those pikemen and these, these long swordsmen were quite low at a point. And then, of course, we've had our own offensive over in Rome. We took two cities. Honestly, the amount of troops we lost, we lost taking them may not have been worth it. But we've got them now, and it's going to be worth it late game when we've developed them a little bit. But for now, we got there a little bit of a reduction to choose. And I kind of muffled all my words there. University would be an idea. I think what we want to do now is... Oh, man, what even do we want to do now? Well, I mean, if this is going to be a militaristic outpost along with Munich, then we'd want to build a barracks, surely. And here, if we've got the faith, I can't remember exactly how much stuff was with faith, no. Well, I was going to say, let's build some more, but we can't right now. So are we just going to hold our line for the time being and see what they do? We're definitely going to counterattack. You don't, don't worry about that, mates. We're definitely counterattacking. We've got a little bit of a force back here, just in case Rome decide to start something with us. But otherwise, I think we're doing okay. We've missed out on a lot of wonders recently. I think certainly... Well, we're fifth for literacy, but, I mean, we're mid-table. We're a long way off whoever the hell are on 41%. Uh, we're actually the most unhappy right now, but being at war tends to have that effect. Third biggest army, although we are at war with the biggest army. We've got the most land, and we're doing pretty well everywhere else. It's going okay. For now, we'll just hold our line for a bit. Uh, yeah, catapult. Catapult? We still got the we haven't upgraded that to a trebuchet yet. Jesus. Okay, well, um, yeah. We'll just we'll, we'll hold ourselves tight for a minute. In terms of tech, I believe we're doing construction uh, compass right now, yes, because we want to get some exploring happening and find out who the hell is actually at 41%. Well, turns process, now I'm gonna have a nice big cup of tea. Oh, it is delicious. It is lovely. Anyway, what's going on now? Oh, peace treaty here. I'm going to see if we can take Palm. Perm. Sure. I mean, if we end in peace now, I'm happy to call this war a draw right now. But I feel like we have the ability to counterattack, and he's losing money right now. So, I'm damn hell not going to not demand a price. If you don't want that, we'll stay at war for a bit, mate. You know? I'll see what I can take. You had a go at me. I'm gonna have my go back at you. We got our great yeah, blah, blah. We got our great general in the zone now. I would I would have given up for perm. I'm gonna take perm now. I was happy not to have it. Oh no, we're gonna lose those pikemen. Admittedly, they are only pikemen, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. But now it's happened, and I've decided it is the end of the world. Now I'm really upset. It's still worth our time to not get peace, though. Perm's there for the taking. What on earth are our auto explorers doing? Colm can fire at the enemy. Damn hell it can. Yeah, man! Uh, we might as well get those catapults firing then as well, mightn't we? The singers, they're there and they won't otherwise move. Oh, really? Thought we'd do that there. Okay, well, Swordsman can finish up. And then I'd expect us to do some sort of good news with this. That should be another dead unit. Lovely. Are they dead? They are dead. Cracking job, lads. No, they're not. Oh, guys, come on. Got to be doing better there, I think. Oh, boy. What do we do right now, then? Damn it. How have they lived? That's disgusting. Really disgusting. Right, okay. What we'll do is we'll move our general up so he's protected. While our scouts are here, they might as well have a bash at that lonely catapult there. Maybe you're going to have to send some archers around. Things are in the forest areas here. Unless we can shoot with these guys, we can. Tremendous. Okay, that's good. We'll get these guys. I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll move. Might as well have a bash. And then we can move these guys forward and support. Yeah, it's definitely worth us hitting perm. We don't have a navy. I feel like if we want to continue and hit that area and, you know, up here, we're going to need... A navy, but that's what we're researching right now. Otherwise, I'm happy with how it's going. Here, we're going to build a farm. These guys can just sit tight for the minute. 
Oh, no, I didn't want it to. I wanted to see if he wanted peace again. I'm happy to accept Perm for peace. Perm for peace, I'll make that deal. Because at the moment, this war's a draw. But seeing as I feel like we're gaining momentum and he's losing momentum, we have no reason to declare peace just yet. Even though many a rock are going to fall on these guys. And man, did that do a lot of damage. I know that's a great general's trebuchet, but oh god. Oh no. No, I can't believe they did that much. Oh man, that's ridiculous. I was expecting... 42 to... Oh, I guess they are a rank down, aren't they? Need to upgrade them while we think about it. Okay, so that, that didn't go perhaps brilliantly. Uh, great artist. Cool, we'll, we'll jump into a golden age, I think. Oh, brilliant. And a work boat. Lovely. I can't believe we forgot to get those pearls for so long. Anyway, this great artist. We could start a golden age. What I'm going to do is actually... Nah, we'll just start a golden age now. It'll help us with war, won't it? And we'll build a... I mean, I feel like we need to be catching up with... Uh, science and stuff. But I would also love to... Oh, man, there's so much we need to do. I'd really love to get astronomy. We need to be crossing oceans. We need to be exploring stuff. So we'll do that first. In terms of production, we'll just get a whatever the hell. A, a university. Definitely the best choice. Um, oh, brilliant. We got that other unit of composite bowmen. Okay, now we're in. Now we're in for a good time. If we just swap these guys over. Yeah, we need to upgrade then. That's, that's kind of our bad, I think. Let's move in. Let's dominate! Let's do this! Crazy amount of damage that all the enemies seem to be able to withstand from us, to be honest. That's not even going to be a death there, is it? Oh, yes, it is. Good stuff. Right, okay. Well, our scouts can move in. You know, I think they'll do well enough against trebuchets. Sure. Uh, these guys are going to have to just... I'll tell you what, we'll move our great general into that unit. These guys can heal. These pikemen can get moving forwards. These guys can get headed down. Munich, I think we're going to be in need of another unit of swordsmen. If we would, thank you. Whoa! Jurek, are you still doing this game? Just get lost, lads. I like Jurek as well. Really didn't want to have to do anything with them. Anyway, we're bearing down on Perm. You know, we're going to take some hits here, but it's just trebuchets. We'll, we'll cut through them eventually. And then we'll just chuck units into it until it dies. It's a very good defendable spot here if we don't have naval support. We don't have naval support. Maybe it's time to maybe start purchasing a Gallius. We could buy one in coal and it could be there in a turn. As we wave goodbye to this unit of... I'm shocked at how much damage that's doing, to be honest. When ours do 19. Another lost unit. It's not good, is it? But it's okay. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can purchase a Gallius. Oh, we can't do that with Faith, can we? We can't purchase that with Faith. And we just need to get these guys out of the way. And we can purchase something else with Faith. I'm not even going to turn them into a trebuchet yet. I want to save the money. What we will do is buy pikemen. Because cavalry there. And what else we'll do is we'll start hitting up on these guys. I mean, come on, though. It's a trebuchet against our scouts. I would expect us to do much better there. This this isn't fantastic, is it? Right, let's get our general in the mix. Let's get him there. I mean, I'd, surely we should be doing more damage to this kind of thing. You'd think, wouldn't you? Oh, well. We'll do what we can. Although I do find it a little weird that we're not doing more. I mean, look at that. I mean, I know there's, I know they're scouts, but whatever. We can kill that unit and then get hit by loads of things. Do we want to kill them with these guys? We can't kill them with those guys. Hmm. That's what we needed to do. Turn them into what we needed. Okay, good. Right, well, we'll come back to that war in a second. For now, let's build a shrine in Neapolis. I think we should push on. Cut it down, lads. Good, good stuff. Okay, right. Um, 
I'm not sure why we... Uh, I mean, I, I guess we'll move just to, like, maybe absorb some shots or something, but... Yeah, it wasn't brilliant. It wasn't brilliant. I know they've got a great general there, and they've got each other there, but... Still. Our trebuchets were not that effective. <laughs> Let's not worry about it. Let's not worry about it at all. It's still fine. Although, depending on the events of next turn, we may very well be asking for peace again. Because we're losing too many units here. I don't get what's up. Our trebuchets were not this strong. And if they really want to hit some scouts, I will allow that. Those scouts were useless anyway. Although that was quite a sad animation, wasn't it? They didn't even shake their weapons. Hmm. Maybe we'll pull back and hold our line. We're probably going to have to, really, aren't we? We've lost too many units here. Way too many units. Like, a ridiculous number. It's okay. We got a pillage up. I, I don't get how we lost that many units, really. But such is the situation. What we'll do is we'll move these guys here. I still don't want to upgrade them, but I guess it's... Oh, screw it. They're upgraded now. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore. Let's see. Let's see. I, I mean, if, if we do... He, he will accept peace for nothing. And I think the way it's going, it's just stalemate on this border, so we will have peace. We will have peace. I hate you, Zurich. Yeah, you can be friendly with me again now. Get out of town. You're killing my trade routes and stuff. My goodness me! Was that war costing us a load of money? Okay. Right, that was worth it then. That was worth it. Let's be friends... That's it, okay? You know what? With that, we absorbed his attack very well. He then asked for peace. We were like, no, we're going to fight back now. And then he absorbed our attack very well. And it turned out our attack was actually very, very feeble, which is kind of embarrassing. Uh, we'll call it a draw. It's a fair draw there, I think. It's a fair draw. And now we won't attack again until we built a navy. And then that'll all be fine. Everything's happy and good. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. Our army's not been that good, really. Sure, man, we'll have an embassy. But what I think we need to do now, work on the treasury, work on everything else. We'll hold the line there. Great writer, fantastic news. Uh, we'll get a treaty right away. That gives us a new policy in but a couple of turns, which I believe then will translate itself into, would you believe, of all things... Why can't we swap these two over? Hmm. Well, we'll pull back anyway. That should finish us off in the piety treat, which should in turn finish us off in... Or it should allow us to start spending faith on... Other things, better things. Which will be good. Uh, yeah, healers can heal. And then we'll just swap that unit swordsman over with those archers. We'll never not have that border patrolled by an army. But, you know, as I said, I am I am glad now that the battle's over for a bit. Uh, okay, here we probably... Did we never build a canavanerasserie here? Let's build a canavanerasserie there. Choose production. Okay, right. I mean, we're relatively happy. I think it's time to start building universities. Four turns. Four turns. And you know what? There's only one Reformation belief that allows you to buy universities and things with faith. And to be honest, do we even want to do that? I don't think so. I think we're better off doing it with other things. You know, seeing what else we can have. Open borders. I mean, I might regret that, but we'll do it for now. We'll do it for now. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah, we'll start this war again when we have naval support. I think that's what we are lacking there. Right, we'll have a banana plantation there. We will take... Oh, Lord heavens, what else should we take now? Neapolis. I think we just work our... They've not even got a library, man. Come on. Come on! Right, so yeah. We'll get our Reformation belief next. Maybe we'd be better at putting a city... By these dies. One, two, three. Yeah, Munich's not getting these dies. So maybe if we put one, I don't know, here. Jungle, bit of mining, bit of deer. City ruins. Maybe in those mountains even. Oh man, I'd love to put an, uh, a thing there, but I think it might be too close to Eif. One. 
Oh, brilliant. These are made now. Okay, that's good. Um, they can just hang tight in Munich. That's enough army, do army production for the time being. Yeah, if we can put one in those mountains, that'll be fun. But it might be, as I said, too close to Eif. One, two, three. Yeah, that's too close. Oh, damn it. We could put it there. No, it, it can't be within four tiles of another city. One, two, three. That is the fourth tile, so it's not going to happen. Still, we've gained cities. We've gained cities here. Certainly get a caravello. That's why I'm not spending money or anything just yet. Oh, speaking of um, purchasing with faith, pagodas. Has everywhere got a pagoda? I can't remember if we put one in the Apollos and Antium yet. Uh, apparently we did that. And that is still... We still not... Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's annex this city. It's going to be in occupied things for a bit. And does it not have a courthouse yet? Change production in Antium. Courthouse, please. <sighs> Goodness me. That's fine, though. Happiness was good enough so that we can support that. And I, I realise I'm just waffling as I play very mediocrely right now. But it's all good. What on earth is that? Is that a... Oh, that's only a Gallius. Okay. Considering in seven turns we're going to have ourselves a Caravelle, I'm not too scared of a Gallius. Although for an effective navy we will need both. Man, we, we could conquer the world if we allied with this guy. Yes, barbarians! Ruin his day! All right, production in Berlin. Let's go for a... Might as well start getting these this lot out, mightn't we? Galliuses and whatever the hell else is. Hmm. How on earth is Neapi... Oh, because it's on a gold focus? Right, we need to have a look at this. Not for that, mate. No, thank you. Yeah, we need to have a look at all this, because this is on a gold production. This, I don't even... Yeah, we, we need to have a little bit of a rejig here. Our golden age is going to run out. Oh, God, how much money are we going to be making after that? Probably not that much, but we should get trade routes again next turn. And we're going to get this bad thing. 15. Man, golden ages are good. Right, okay. First things first. Go to a default focus, you sillies. Second thing second. Go to a default focus, you sillies. Oh my goodness me, 43, is that serious? Production focus it is then. 17, it's actually better on a gold focus. No, it's still 17. I'm very confused right now, I swear that said 15 a minute ago. I'll just build stuff. Really? I mean, how can the... <sighs> Let us not worry. Let us not worry. What we need to do is adopt a policy. Finish off this lovely, lovely thing. Holy Sites now produces culture. We can get a Reformation of Belief. Okay, so religious further, so we can continue our ability to purchase stuff, uh, armies and stuff past a certain era. Hopefully we can just build an army and then pay to upgrade them after that. Inquisitors and Prophets reduce this religious burden by half. Is it, oh, your spies exert religious pressure on cities they occupy. That could be really useful. Faith to purchase great people. Missionaries spread religion... Blah, blah, blah. Influence from gold gifts increased. Missionaries adjacent to barbarian units convert. Okay. Barbarian university. Public school. I like the sound of the... Um, I like the sound of the spies exerting religious influence. Let's do that and let's work out where our spy actually is. He's in Mecca right now, which is actually probably the perfect place for him to be. Mecca's down... Since when were the Russians in the game? What? Where's our scout gone? Since when on earth were the Russians about? Who knows? Right, so yeah, Medina there. Mm, start putting out a bit of pressure in... Uh, sorry, in Mecca, aren't we? Hmm. Not yet, but maybe it'll take a turn to process. And we do get a great profit as well. Okay, do we want to use this great profit for a holy site? I think so. As long as we want to generate faith points and our conversion is going pretty well as it is. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with how it's going right now. We should be able to buy a caravel, I would hope, pretty soon after getting astronomy. And we can get an explore going on, and then we can build an army, or a navy, I should say, and they can support the army when we attack Perm and Novgorod. And it'll all be fine, and all our worries will go away. That's the thing. Oh, hey! Right, okay, so the world's busiest people, we are not doing very well on that front, are we? Right, well, simple job for these chaps, and these chaps will do a bit of a scissor movement there. 
and that's that sorted. Choosing production in Hamburg, we are going to want some trading caravans, aren't we? Choosing production in Munich. Armory. University, I think. We need to get some universities up. I love that we're getting a load of faith. It's really good because now we can rush build an army and that's who we wanted to meet. Okay, so we'll go for the embassy first. You know, I'm wondering if perhaps Russia are the winners right now. That will do. Goodbye. Okay, so where is she? She's down here, apparently. 12. Yeah. You know what? Maybe we just concentrate on finishing off the Romans. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, my goodness me. And Russia has discovered everyone. Hello, sir. Let's, uh, let's make ourselves known. How you doing, bruh? Very good. Who else is here? The Siams, if that's the correct pronunciation of plural people from Siam. Well, nice to meet you, however, sir. And they were the only two people we hadn't discovered, so that's not too bad. Cool. So that's going to happen. 30 turns. Uh, score's a good way of looking at things, isn't it? So we've got 6-7-1. So for score, we're actually winning. Well, it doesn't feel like we're really winning in this game right now, but we're going to go for a um, holy site here, aren't we? We do get a hell of a lot of good stuff out of it. So 22 to 44, yeah. Mm. I'm not happy with how our army's performed right now, but that's a nice place for a holy site. Lake there, mountains. How glorious. How very glorious. Three gold a turn for dies. You know what? You've got nearly 40 gold a turn, so let's uh let's up this perhaps. Expecting to haggle. How much do you value the happiness of your citizens? 19. Well, we can't do that. So how about 12 for dies? No. 12 for pearls and dies. Well, we can't give away our pearls. So how about 8 for dies? 6. Okay, well, you know what? We doubled her original offer. So that's all right. Oh, hell no. There's going to be a war straight away, Russia, if you think you're converting our people. They are Russian missionaries, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, there's going to be a war if this is going to happen. Oh, my lord. Who's near? Who's near? Oh, it's just that barbarian. Okay, scared me for a second. That should be them dealt with very nicely. Uh, is that done there? Because you need to go and fix those sheep. Right. University's coming in very soon. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. What we need to do is make sure we're the best friends with Zurich for when the war happens again, because that really hurt us, actually. I'm not giving you open borders so you can come and make everything not my religion. That'd be rude. How are Brazil still going? Bless them. And how are Antium starving? Astronomy, fantastic. Renaissance, fantastic. Okay, right. Let's get this Gallius. Um, just chilling out by Colm. 293. I'm going to guess we can't afford a caravel for that. No, that's 600 for a caravel. Wow. Okay, well, we'll build one then. Where are they? Seven turns. Not too bad. And then up in Colm, we will build a observatory. We'll build an observatory everywhere. We can build an observatory for sure. And then maybe it would be an idea to get gunpowder, musketmen. Sorry for the cut, everyone. There was a thing that happened that I had to go deal with. But I was talking about getting gunpowder because musketmen will have very good implications for later on in the game. But then so would having crossbowmen. So would, you know, these. So would, so would everything right now, to be honest. Really, I don't know where we should go. Uh, it feels like the way we can win right now is by war, so... Cannons. Cannons and lances and things. But I think we should probably get machinery first. In actual fact, if we get gunpowder, do we need to get machinery first? No, we don't. But I feel like we should, just because it's quick. Okay. Right. A unit needs orders, but who? Oh, these guys. Well, good job getting rid of the barbarian menace, slap chaps. I'm very happy we're trading with Ekendenberg. We're certainly not going to allow them open borders, because I sure as hell am not going to accept any conversions in my business. Oh, brilliant. We had gems. Didn't even realise. <laughs> We're good, aren't we? It's fine. 
Once these trade caravans come in, once that caravels come in, I want to be catching up in science. I want to be, I want to be, ca oh, guess what's expired? Guess what's expired, Caesar? Oh, that's with the tiller. Oh, the season one must have expired ages ago. We're now sixth for literacy. And it is the Russians that are winning. We assumed as much, didn't we? Right, well, what's our best chance here? Oh, don't, don't make me trade with these people. We'll trade with these people. That will give us... Uh, that will give us a bit of pressure. We're winning on pressure, but I think we should go to Zurich. And the next one can go to wherever the hell else. Trading caravans. Good. Right, okay, lovely. So... I mean, I guess we... I mean, if we want to just take some land, we finish off the Romans, right? That, that, that's surely what we do. But we can't leave this border undefended. Okay, here's what's going to happen. We'll put a load there. We'll put a load there. We'll, the Great General can come down. We'll keep that. Trebuchet can come down. Oh, my lord, I've just clicked off the thing. My bad. Okay, so the trebuchet can come down, which is now a trebuchet, thank goodness. These archers can come down. These guys, when they're healed, can come down. And the great general's coming down as well, isn't he? Whoa, what, whoa. Oh, oh, we're looking at scouts now, are we? Oh, God. You know what? These scouts have been annoying. Go away, scouts. You're not even scouting right now. Great general, please act... Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Yeah, I think finishing off Rome's wise gives us a real sort of monopoly over this piece of the world. We can explore what's going on down here. And I think we should be able to quite easily. I can't believe we've still got a city in martial law or occupied, whatever you want to call it. It seems pretty crazy to me that that's happening. Still, you know, I thought when a city was puppeted, that was the first thing it did was build a courthouse. I guess I was wrong. Anyway... So, those six units are going to stay. Everything else is going to move down. And what we will start doing now... You guessed it. In fact, do we want to or do we want to wait until we've got... Do we want to wait until we can just buy musketmen? Wait, a musketman industrial era we've got this ability up to, haven't we? In fact, let's just check. Let's look at our religion... Whatever the hell image jigs. Religious overview. Uh, Pre-industrial. So, musketmen. Oh, that's Renaissance. Oh, we can, yeah, we can buy musketmen and cannons and stuff. Okay, yeah, well, that's what we'll do then. We'll save our faith for the minutes. Otherwise, we'll get everyone moving. Very nice. Very good. Good thing we got that road built as well, isn't it? Now, the fact that we don't have much... Why did I just move those guys? That was wrong. The fact that we don't have much iron isn't really going to matter anymore. Because these are all going to be musketmen soon. And musketmen don't need iron in the idea of this game. Why is our general not moving? Oh, because he didn't move last time, did he? He doesn't know what's about to happen. In fact, does he know? Does he have a spy in our midst? I have no idea. Brazil have denounced us. Well, we kind of left them to the dogs, didn't we? I don't like that we're getting publicly denounced by a lot of people, but... I definitely think war's the way to win right now. We're too far behind in science from the Russians. We, you know, the way to catch up is to just get a ton of a ton of stuff, you know? And that's what we're going to try and do right here. So four turns for crossbowmen. And then we're going to go for things. Now, who wasn't producing... Oh, it's because we're a bit unhappy, so that's obviously going to happen. Okay, well, Colosseum should cheer us up a trifle. These guys finally get in their courthouse. That should help a bit as well. Uh, we're done with that. That's good. I like the development here. I don't mind leaving some forest as forest, in all honesty. As we've said before, it's very defensible. What we could do is build forts up here. That's a very good idea. I think that's what we're going to go and do. Who else needs orders? These workers. A farm here. So yeah, we'll we'll go to Rome. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do our thing. We'll get these guys into pikemen. About blooming time, I hear you say. And the trebuchet will be cannons before long. But I think we'll be destroying Rome before they become cannons. We're certainly going to have a load of crossbowmen. That's a given. That's a given, right? So all of these guys are going to hang tight. That's what's going to happen there. These guys are going to hang tight just for the time being. You know what? I would be gutted if we got a great profit right now. 
So we're going to actually spend our faith on units if we don't get a great profit because we're saving the faith, but we can only save so much before it says, no, nope, I'm going to take it all away from you and give you a great profit. So that's what's going to happen. Please don't give us a great profit. No, nope, we still have all our faith. Okay, before we lose it, purchase some troops. Oh, composite bowmen is all we can get though right now. Composite bone and pikemen. I don't want either of them. I want long swordsmen, but we can't have long swordsmen because we don't have enough iron, which won't be a problem in, in a bit of time. I guess we just buy trebuchets. You know, they are the things that are going to win us the day, really, aren't they? Uh, 96. Okay, right. Well, we, we got some. That's what matters there. These workers... Yeah, you know, we'll keep the jungle there, I think. No, no, no. Let's cut it down. Give our troops quicker, quicker things because we can line up our trebuchets along this river and just send a couple of melee troops over the bridge, can't we? That's an idea. Meanwhile, we'll send all the missile troops over there. Melee troops are going over the bridge. So we want trebuchets this side. We Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. It's another one made. Where can we send it? Obviously not to Rome. We'll send it to Russia. Should be a good bit of money for us. And then, yeah, this is all going very well now. Farm's better than nothing. Here, we might as well just start filling in. Cargo ship. Oh, oh, can we do cargo ships? Yeah, sure. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's get a cargo ship, man. Okay, right. And then here we are going to go for a... Might as well just go for a garden, because why not? No. No, let's not go for a garden. Let's go for a forge. That's much better. And, hmm, barrage or whatever the hell. That's in flatland. That's on a hill. Well, Rome's going to be probably the harder take, so accuracy for this one, then. Good stuff. Good stuff. And these workers on their way to build a fort. A load of forts. And we got our general coming down as well. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Hopefully our happiness can be sorted out before long. We'll just keep these guys here. Just in case. Love to upgrade those pikemen, but it's not really a problem. So what have they got? They've got trebuchets and stuff as well, haven't they? Now. Mm -hmm. Well, preparations are underway, my friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.